The moment Simon Lazat and MVP fans have been waiting for is finally here. But with the first release in the Simon line on the horizon, the question is, who is the time-lapse really for? These are our first impressions. Hey everyone, it's Greg from Six Sided Discs. If you ask anyone who the best disc golfer of all time is, you'll get one of two answers. 12-time world champion Ken Climo, or six-time world champion Paul Macbeth. But if you ask people who their favorite disc golfer is, one name bubbles up to the top, Simon Lazat. But prior to his win at the OTB Open in 2022, Simon had not won an A-tier or Pro Tour event since the 2018 European Disc Golf Championship in Croatia. In fact, compared to many of his peers, Simon Lazat has not been as successful at the Pro Tour level. But despite that fact, when players stop by to sign autographs after their round, Simon's line is always the longest. So what makes Simon so popular, despite not being as successful as someone like Paul Macbeth? It boils down to content. Simon has been uploading vlogs, trick shots, casual rounds, and more to his YouTube channel for over nine years. And he's known for being quite open and honest, not just about disc golf, but about his personal life as well. In the world of disc golf content, Simon's channel ranks second in subscribers behind only Jomez Pro. Technically, Brody Smith has more at 2.1 million subscribers, but many of those came long before he got into disc golf. Despite not making as many lead card appearances in recent years, Simon has almost always been selected to be on either post-production or live feature cards during the first round. And there is one simple reason why. Simon is a crowd pleaser. Simon's claim to fame at top-level events is throwing lines that no one else can. In fact, this is where the term Simon line was born. Because Simon's popularity is directly connected to him throwing incredible shots on camera, whether recorded on his own or by the professional crews following the Pro Tour, his Simon line disc names are themed around cameras and camera technology. The time-lapse is the first disc in the Simon line. A time-lapse is a technique used by photographers in which the frequency at which film frames are captured is much lower than the frequency used to view that sequence. When played at normal speed, time appears to be moving faster, and thus lapsing. Now, these incredible lines that Simon is known for throwing have often been thrown with distance drivers, and the daddy of all distance drivers is the Innova Destroyer. Innova was Discmania's primary molding partner for many years, and they produced the DD3 for Discmania, essentially a clone of the Destroyer. Simon's move to MVP in early 2023 surprised some and shocked others, not only because he had been with Discmania his entire career, but also because MVP had been reluctant to copy the successful discs of other brands. In fact, MVP didn't have a single 12-speed driver until now. The time-lapse is rated at 12, 5, negative 1, 3, the exact same flight numbers as a Destroyer or DD3, and is clearly looking to get MVP a share of that market, which they have so far struggled to do with their existing high-speed drivers like the Photon or Octane. Now, just because you give a disc the same flight numbers as a Destroyer does not mean that it will fly that way. For example, here is the Viking Discs Odin with flight numbers of 12, 5, negative 1, 3, and it flies like this. Here's an actual destroyer then, in fact, a Calvin Heimberg Halo destroyer, and as we can see, it is quite overstable. And on a similar line, the time lapse is just as overstable. In fact, the time lapse might even be a bit more overstable than a brand new Halo Destroyer. So these first run prototypes are going to retail for $40 and each dealer only got 10. So who exactly is the time lapse first run prototype for? Who can really benefit from the stability? Certainly not me. In fact, even experienced power throwers are going to struggle to find this disc usable outside of fierce headwind conditions. It seems that the first disc in the Simon line is mostly just for Simon. Oh, and of course, the collectors as well.
What are your thoughts on the time lapse? Are you chasing a prototype for your collection? Or are you going to wait for the stock release that might be more usable? Leave a comment down below. For Six Out of Discs, I'm Greg. We'll see you in the next one. Despite not making as many lead... Despite not making as many lead card appearances in recent years, when players stop by after their round to sign autographs, Simon's line is always the longest. That's what she said. <laughs> Simon's move to MVP in early 2023 surprised some. <coughs> 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 If you like this content and want to see more, please consider liking the video, subscribing to our channel, or supporting us on Patreon. Your support makes this content possible.